I want to take just a minute and I want to read something from a guy named Ray Steadman, which will reiterate what I just read about who these people are and where they went, but he does it in a narrative form and it will really help you to get this into your head. We learn here that Japheth has seven sons, but only two of them are traced for us in any detail. The first was Gomer. From the word Gomer came the word Gaul or Gaelic. These are the people, interestingly enough, to whom the New Testament epistle, the Galatians, is written. The Galatians were Gauls. Most of us have a Gaelic or a Celtic ancestry. And the Gauls and the Celts were descendants of Gomer. They migrated to the north and settled in Spain, France, and in Britain. From these Gauls came the most of the early families of Western Europe and consequently the Americas as well. The oldest son of Gomer was Ashkenaz. He and his descendants first settled around the Black Sea and then moved into a land which is called Essenia, which later became known as the islands of Scandia, which we now know as Scandinavia. You can trace a direct link between Ashkenaz and Scandinavia. Another of the sons of Gomer was Riphoth. Although we do not know too much about Riphoth, we do know that he was located in Central Europe, and some scholars feel that the word Europe itself comes from the name Riphoth. Another son is Togarma. This name is easily traced. He was the ancestor of the present-day Turks and Armenians, who also migrated northward into South Germany. Certain scholars have felt that the word Germany derives from the word Togarma. If you drop the first syllable, you have the root word of Germany, Garma. Two other sons of Japheth were Madai and Javan. These are easily recognizable in history. The Madai became the Medes of the famous Medes and Persian Empire. And I'll stop there and I'll tell you that if you read the book of Esther, you'll know who those people are. If you read the book of Daniel, you'll know who these people are. And even Isaiah, before they became a world figure, prophesied a guy named Cyrus would be the one to return his people back to the land of Israel. So the Medes and the Persians are mentioned throughout the Bible and they bear heavily on what's going on in the world today. So where was I? Javan is unquestionably the ancestor of the Greeks. His name Javan is still found in Greece in the form of Ionia. The Ionic Sea and Ionian Peninsula all derive from this word Javan. His sons were Elisha, from which we get the word, the Greek word Hellas. The Greeks are still called Hellenes and Tarshish, who most scholars associate with Spain. Kitim, which is the island of Cyprus, and Dodonim, who settled around the Black Sea and still finds a modern parallel in the word the Dardanelles. These can all be traced by geographical titles and places of the names they left behind. So.